What is going on, everybody? This is it. The final song off the hunting party. A line in the sand. Me, personally, think they should have just finished it with, like, switch this. I haven't heard this yet, but... Final Masquerade just felt like the last song on an album. It just did. It felt like a fitting way to go. But let's see how a line in the sound how a line in the sand sounds. Hey, that's harder to say than you'd think. Sand sounds. Sand sounds. Alright. Anyway, hit like. If you're on YouTube, definitely hit like. And again, if you're on Patreon, as always, you are the realest of the real. I appreciate you with all my heart. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, guys. Come on. Can we, can we go out on a good note? Can we, you know, basically every song was good here. How about this? Can we go out on a great note? There we are. There we are. Because Linga Bark rarely shits the bed, for lack of a better term. So I expect it to be at least decent. But can we be, can we be great? Send me home happy.
definitely got one. Oh shit. Alright. Alright, that's a hell of a way to go out too. That that was really good. That was better than the final masquerade. Yep, it was. It was. That was a better overall song. It had almost every element you'd want from a Linkin Park song in it. Uh, kind of like Keys of the Kingdom was like that. It had every element I'm looking for. This one just about did. And the mixing here was was perfect. Perfect. How the fuck do people hate this album? What? Yeah, no, no, no. Is it their best album? No. No, no, no. Like, if you say this is better than Hybrid Theory, I'm probably going to backhand the shit out of you. Because it's not. Hybrid Theory is one of the greatest albums ever made by anybody. But this is no slouch. This album was good. This was good. People piss me off. It's like people could just never be fucking happy. Because this was way less digital. It didn't feel overly commercial. It had some meteor vibes to it through s most of the songs. They just weren't... Most of the songs weren't quite as good as some of the meteor songs. But it was the same vibes. And they... Dev they My only real complaint here is they never hit an absolute classic. You know what I mean? Linkin Park on most of their albums will have at least one that's an absolute bona fide Linkin Park classic. I'm not sure if this one does have an absolute classic. But it does have at least three great songs and a whole bunch of good ones. Like a bunch. A bunch. Even Drawbar was good. That's just a damn instrumental. That was fucking sweet to listen to. Oh, people are just never fucking happy. But guess what? I'm people, and I'm fucking pleased. I'm happy with this. And this was a blast and a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself, because I definitely did. And for the Linkin Park fans still tuned in, this month we're doing, um, also doing, yeah, I'm trying to get Andrew over here to do uh, a live concert, like I did with Korn, but with Linkin Park. From a concert around this album's time period. I don't want to get a uh, any concert that has songs on it that I have not heard yet. You know what I mean? I I'm going to do those once we finish the next... 
I think there's only one album left. I think. I'm not 100% sure. But is, I think one more light. Is that is that it? Is that the last one? And is that what's next? Because it might be. But there might be one in between it. I'm not sure. I need to look that up. I definitely will. I, I'm hoping there's as many albums as humanly fucking possible, really, to be honest with you. I know it comes to an end. Sadly, we all know this journey ends. Sadly. So, hopefully there's one more before One More Light, but One More Light might be the last one. I don't know. Either way, I'm excited for them. We'll be doing all those soon and definitely doing the concert with Andrew soon. We're going to get all probably pretty drunk. Hey, we got to make it like a, like a real concert. So there's going to be a good bit of beers. It's probably going to be about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on which concert I choose, but it'll be one from around this era. And then once we fully do catch up with all the albums, we'll go back to the beginning. Hybrid Theory, Meteor. The albums I have heard, but it's been 15 plus years since I've heard them. I cannot wait. And I have, I'm completely, have not re-listened to any of them ever since I started this journey because I knew we were going to go back to the beginning at some point. So it's fresh as fuck. It's been forever. I can't wait to see if Hybrid Theory holds up to what my brain dripping with nostalgia is telling me. That's the scary part about going back and listening to these classic albums your childhood favorites is because it's like, what if you go back and it's not as good? No, 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 no. There's just no way that's happening, right? No fucking way. Hybrid Theory might be the greatest piece of album music I've ever heard. But nostalgia is a hell of a drug, so who the hell knows? Maybe it doesn't hold up. But we will be going back eventually, but first we got to finish up all the Linkin Park albums and songs. It's been a hell of a time with you guys. And also, oh, I can take this off. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. But also, uh, the four live bonus tracks, I will do those and release them either tomorrow or the day after, just to give you guys time to binge watch this whole album first. Well, which I guess is technically part of it. I think it was called the Xbox Deluxe edition or, or some shit like that which is one of the weirdest names of bonus track edition I've ever heard but we will check those out anyway let me know what you guys think was this fun did you have a good time I salute you and if you are still was this worth the price of a McMuffin that's it price for McMuffin that's all just let me know would you rather have a McMuffin than what you just experienced in the last probably hour plus I haven't really figured out all the time. It's probably like an hour to an hour and a half. Because I damn sure wouldn't. I damn sure wouldn't. Hashtag fuck the McMuffin. 